welcome to Nushin Behi channel. I'm gonna share the portfolio that got me hired for my first UX design job in a tech startup and also I'll be giving you a walkthrough on the whole website such as the homepage, the case studies, about me page and contact me. Then we're gonna go into depth for each case study. So let's dive in. Just to give you a context, I created this portfolio out of college for my graduation assignment. I created this in Webflow and it was super easy I bought a template and I start off from the template. Let me go through the website and just show you how was it. I got a bit cringy when I'm looking at it because I created it a while ago while I was like a junior designer and if I were wanted to design it today I would like use a white background instead of light orange. As you can see I have some case studies right on my portfolio and then my contact information here, Instagram, LinkedIn. And uh, yeah, so the uh, navigation contains case studies about me and contact. And this is my logo that I created. I'm getting a bit cringe. Let's go to the fitness app. At that time, I was studying interaction design foundation courses. And one of the exercises in the course was portfolio case study creation. I uh, got that as an opportunity so that I can have something on my portfolio website. So here you can see like I have a banner image for the project and then here is the uh, details of the like project overview, my role date and the like um, a title, um, UX UI design for a smartphone app which help people to improve their fitness. This is the problem statement and then here is my research, so I have some questions here and some related photos. You need to like make your portfolio a okay, case so study very visually appealing and very engaging and exciting to read. Don't just write a long paragraphs because nobody read those. Just use images, try to add like as you can see I added like some uh, design elements here such as like a background color and uh, things like that or I highlight the text so that I can just got more attention into some part of the text. You need to make your case study very engaging and exciting to read. So this is my empathy map and then this is the affinity diagram. I'm not going into details because I just want to make it really quick so that you have a general idea of what are the expectations of you as a junior designer or entry-level designer so that you have a general idea. Talked about my ideation process and this is the wireframes. Make sure to add your sketches and add your design process because it's really engaging. And if you don't have wireframes, I have my high fidelity designs and I do have my uh, like wireframes or sketches. I started to create these sketches after my final designs, which is fine. I just wanted to use it just for the portfolio sake because you need to have your design process in the details and in depth. It would be very exciting for the recruiter. So this is the design system. I'm going through the chronography, the primary colors, and the typography and the high fidelity design. So one of the mistakes that junior designers do is that they don't really have enough high fidelity design. So make sure that you add those designs as well. If you click on each of these, it's gonna like show the whole image on the website. As you can see, I just have like one, two, three, four. I just have four uh, main case studies, a fitness app and the music app is in detail. So I talked about my design process and my research process, my design process and everything like that. But for the two other projects, uh, e-commerce and banking app, which I'm gonna show you later, I just briefly put my high fidelity designs and my visual design because my goal was to just uh, impress recruiters and hiring managers with my high fidelity designs. This is the music app. So as you can see, it has the same style as the fitness app that I just showed you so that I show myself as a consistent person. Uh, so here are my sketches uh, and this is the uh, logo, iconography, colors, 
typography, avatars, and then prototypes. And I also put some animations here on my case study so that it would be engaging and it can show that I'm a person with interactive prototype skills. And these are the prototypes. As you can see, I have the tablet version here and the mobile version. And okay, let's go to the e-commerce project. I just have the images. I of course have just a short description of the visual designs, but overall, I just have pretty simple pictures of my designs. That time I was watching the Adobe XD daily challenges and I was watching and creating designs every day from those uh, challenges. So I got them here. Also, I got so many inspiration from Andre Epi. She is a great designer and I really appreciate her work. I got so much inspiration and I mean she was the person who got me encouraged into UX design because while she was doing those Adobe Live challenges, I was like super impressed. Like wow! UX design field is so exciting and so modern. Let's go through the banking app. Dribbble also helped me a lot to just get inspiration for my visual design work. And here I created this in After Effects um, with a template, I remember. You can just animate your visual designs because it would be super impressive. Okay guys, I'm gonna quickly go through the about me and contact page. Here I have a short description about my experience, my um, like I have a BA in graphic design, I have like six years of experience and uh, blah 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 like I'm very passionate about UX design and some uh, photos I'm of myself and my painting so that I can show that I'm like super have uh, so many uh, different visual design skills I know how to draw I was a graphic designer in two marketing agencies I was also a freelance illustrator for children's books so I put all of my experience in my about me page and here if we go to the context I just have my email very straightforward and um, yeah they can just message me here as well and my social media links thank you everyone for watching this video until the end i am very happy that you are here and i can give value to you please don't forget to subscribe because i'm gonna share more videos about ux design bye